What's good, Washington fans? So, uh, a lot of injuries piled up on Sunday. Um, even Tory McTire getting hurt on that last play. Um, unfortunately, that was an ACL injury for Tory McTire, so he is going to be done for the year. We wish a speedy recovery for him. Um, also, John Bostic with a torn pictorial injury. Injury. He most likely will be out for the season. They didn't announce. Um, they didn't confirm yet, but they said most likely he will be done for the year. So, guys, let's have some respect. Um, with John Boston, I know he didn't have a good year. Um, the year he was having, he didn't play well. But, you know, we're not going to kick the guy while he's down, make jokes about it. But it is going to provide opportunity for guys like Jamin Davis to get more snaps. Kalik Hudson, of course, Cole Holcomb was starting anyway. Uh, Ron Vera did say in his press conference earlier that David Mayo would be getting more time. Now, I uh, a lot of people are calling for Jamie Collins, uh, who played for the Lions. You know, um, I personally, I'm not... I'm not really gung-ho on getting Jamie Collins because I saw the Packers game didn't play well. It looked slow. Uh, Aaron Jones did whatever he felt like doing in that Sunday night football game. Um, could we use another linebacker? Sure, of course, you know, but he's not. he doesn't look like the fastest guy either out there. John Bostic slow as crap. So are we really getting much of an upgrade um, with, with Jamie Collins, to be honest? I don't really think so, but, you know, we do need some more depth. Um, Bernardrick McKinney is still out there too. He's not the fastest. He's more of a run stopper. Same thing as Jamie Collins is more of a run stopper as well. They're not much of coverage linebackers, but you know, we, we just need as much depth as we can get. It's going to be Cleet Hudson and then probably David Mayo getting more snaps, just like Ron Rivera said in his press conference. Of course, Brandon Sheriff, the all pro. Um, I highly doubt he's going to be back next year. I highly doubt it. Sprain MCL will be out for two to three weeks. We'll see. He got injured last year, was on injury reserve, and then the year before he missed time as well. So I feel like the last two or three years he's missed some time. But, he, I mean, he's still a great player, but he, he's just not worth the money, man. I, I, I just think at the end of the year we're going to get a compensatory pick for him. We'll see what happens next year. But I just don't see Brandon Sheriff being back in a Washington football team uniform next year. Um, just a lot of injuries in, in that price tag. Being on the franchise tag again for a second time, how much is he getting, like $18 million this year? Some, some, cra some ludicrous this year. Um, Diami, he has a, uh, a knee injury. They did not specify the time on that. Uh, I think his return is TB is to be determined. Uh, we'll see uh, later down the line. Let me look at the uh, uh, tweet here. Um, but Diami, yeah, he did get hurt during the game, so he, he's TB. He's to be determined. We'll see if he's going to come back. Um, yeah, he's, we're going to see if he's going to come back or play this week uh, on, on Sunday against the Saints. We'll see. Cam Sims as well, hamstring soreness. Um, his status is to be determined as well. We'll, so if, we'll see if he plays on Sunday. Dax Milne was inactive, so he might have to play if Diami or Cam Sims can't go. Um, who else is on the practice call? Calvin Harmon, AGG, one of those guys might, might have to step up and play. Uh, Antonio Gibson. He did not show up. They did not talk about him being injured. Did look like he, you know, he was gimpy, you know, when, when Tailhoney threw the ball late and he, he got hit on his side. I don't know if he sustained an injury or not. We'll see. Logan Thomas, hamstring week to week. Um, so we'll see with that. Sammy Reyes is going to be active on Sunday. This is what Ron Rivera said. Same thing with Brandon Sheriff. Sadiq Charles will be active on Sunday against the Saints. So these guys get an opportunity to play and show what they can do. Sammy Reyes, I'm... Little, I like Sammy's. I love his story, but him bobbling those catches, they really do concern me a lot. Ricky Seals Jones is going to have to step up. John Bates, they're, they're, both of those guys are going to have to step up as well. Um, ben St. Juice, hopefully he can come back with Torrey McTire being out. We need more depth at that cornerback position. Once again, I was not a big fan of releasing Jimmy Moreland, but it is what it is. It's, 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 you got to move on from that. Daryl Roberts, other guys have to step up. Kendall Fuller has been awful. William Jackson has been bad, in my opinion, as well. Ben St. Juice wasn't. Vincent Jace was okay. Everybody was praising him about that Bills game, but he did tackle Stephon Diggs. They did miss a pass interference call. And Ben St. Juice certainly has not been perfect either. He has not been great. He's been average. He's been okay for a rookie, but at the same time, he definitely has been beat. Nobody on the secondary has played well, in my opinion. Maybe Cam Curl, and that's it. But nobody on the secondary, you can just stand up and say, oh, man, this guy has been balling so far. Nobody. I did see the Bobby McCain press conference where he was um, – Talking with the media, kind of, you know, being being um, real, not snappy. I guess snappy with the media or whatever. Um, can't remember exactly what Bobby McCain said, but he had some choice words for the media after the press conference. Um, so that is it. Like I said, Bostic uh, out for the year. Um, Troy McTire is out for the year. Or Bostic likely out for the year. Um, Cam Sims on the injury report. Diami on the injury report. Logan Thomas on the injury report. Ben St. Juice, Brandon Sheriff. So... Um, we'll see what happens. And uh, Ron Vera did confirm that um, Dustin Hopkins will be the kicker going forward 
And he said it in fact, emphatically in the uh, report. This is from Blake Lewis Jr. He said, Dustin Hopkins is our kicker. It was said in a way to shut down any talk of change at the position. So um, I really wish they would move on from Dustin Hopkins, but it is what it is on that point. Um, and let me see if there's any other news for today. That's about it. And, of course, the breaking news of the um, Ryan Vermillion, the head trainer, um, with a with a uh, police bust into the uh, uh, police uh, invasion or whatever you call it. Um, law enforcement, they conducted a raid at Washington, at the Washington facility. I should not be laughing or smiling at all. I'm sorry, but this is just terrible. We just can't, we can't get out of the news for just bad things all over the field. We just can't. So they probably could have raided um, Ryan Vermillion whenever they wanted to, but of course they knew we had a game on Sunday. They were like, okay, he's going to be in Atlanta. We're going to wait until he gets back in Maryland on Monday or Virginia, Ashburn, where the stadium is at, or where our facility is at. And then they perform the raid. So um, it's tough, man. It's tough. So I, I don't know. I'm not going to say too much on that situation. Ron Rivera deferred the statement. He said our team, the Washington football team, released a statement on the event. And Ron Rivera is not going to say anything else about that. Remember, Ryan Vermillion was with the Panthers before Ron Rivera worked with him. So he's one of the guys that Ron Rivera definitely trusts. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. What, what is really going on with Ryan Vermillion? But let's focus on football we are 2-2. Two and two. We have a big game on Sunday against the Saints. If we can find a way to pull out a W and be 3-2, and be and two, that would be awesome for the Washington football team. Uh, I just saw a stat as well on Taylor Heineke how, about how good he's played. Uh, this is from my guy Chase Hughes, who I did have on Locked on Wizards, the Washington Wizards beat reporter. He said, Taylor Heineke's eight touchdowns are the most for a Washington quarterback through week four since Brad Johnson, who had nine in 1999. And Sonny Jurgensen, who had nine touchdowns in 1968, are the only ones with more touchdowns at this point of a season in franchise history. So this is this is through week four. Taylor Heineke has eight touchdowns. That just, I mean, wow. I mean, it, it kind of shows how mediocre, mediocre our quarterback play has been. Just to have eight touchdowns through four weeks is such a big thing for the Washington football team with, with Taylor Heineke being able to do that. He's mentioned with Brad Johnson and Sonny Jurgensen. So you guys take that for whatever it's worth, man. I'm behind Taylor. Let's see what the man can do, man. I want to see a game where the defense actually steps up and helps Taylor Heineke out. I want to see a game where Taylor Heineke's not down 10-0, 7-0, 14-0, 21-0. I really want to see that. But Taylor Heineke has played his butt off. The offensive line has been darn good as well. So, all right, you guys, you guys let me know what you guys think about these injuries. Who's got to step up? Is there another linebacker? We're probably going to have to sign a linebacker. Probably going to have to sign another cornerback, to be honest with you. Might even have to sign a tight end. I know a lot of people want to see Calvin Harmon play that H-back role or that tight end role. I think that would be great for Calvin Harmon, honestly. And I know it's hard to transition from wide receiver to tight end. But Ricky Seals-Jones has done it. He was a wide receiver in college. Antonio Gandy golden he's not the fastest guy in the world. He really can't create separation. You see the way he was moving in preseason. It was very slow um, and methodical when he did catch the football. I don't know how how good of a blocker he would be, but I think Calvin Harmon would be a great H-back or a great tight end. So, hey, you take that information for what, whatever it's worth. You have your own opinion on it. We'll see what happens if Ron Rivera would make a move like that. But all right, you guys, hail the football team. Peace.